Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to read WhatsApp messages without the blue check marks appearing beside the message. Now in case you want to read a WhatsApp message without the sender knowing that you've read their message, you have to use an app called Unseen, which is available on Android phones and tablets. So here is exactly how to use the Unseen app to read WhatsApp messages without the sender knowing. So first thing is to open the Google Play Store on your Android phone or tablet. Next, search for the Unseen app. Download the Unseen app onto your device, and once the app has been downloaded, tap on Open. Now tap on Next, and then tap on Next once again, and then tap on Next a third time. Now on this screen, WhatsApp will be selected by default, and you will see a gray check mark beside it. In case WhatsApp is not selected, select WhatsApp and then tap on Next. Now on this screen, tap on the Give Authorization option. And on the next screen, toggle, toggle on Unseen. From the pop-up, tap on Allow. Now tap on the Back button to head back to the Unseen app. Now the Unseen app is all set up to track your incoming WhatsApp notifications. And what it basically does is, is it stores these notifications and lets you read the contents of the notification, which means you can read a WhatsApp message without the blue ticks appearing. Here's exactly how it works, and here is proof that you can read a WhatsApp message without the blue tick marks appearing next to it. So from phone number one, I will send phone number to a test message. So the message has made its way into the Unseen app. I can tap on the contact's name and I can view the message the contact has sent me. So let's say I send another message and this will also show up in the Unseen app. Now, as you can see on phone number two, I am reading the WhatsApp messages, but on phone number one, I still only see two gray check marks, which means I have no idea that phone number two has read my messages. So this is a great way for you to read messages at your own pace and then respond to them when you feel like responding to them instead of being under pressure to respond to messages on time. And that's it for this video. If this video helped you out, hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos like this.